this is what's kind of made the day a little more challenging. We got flooding going on. I actually like to get under some of these bridges, but uh, we got five inches of rain last night, so it's uh, it's pretty fierce out there. All right, today, guys, we're on our way to a senior photo shoot. If you're like me when you're starting out, you start shooting stuff, people see your work, and they say, hey, do you do senior photos? And uh, you want to say yes, you want to earn some cash. And so today I'm going to show you what that shoot can look like from, from beginning to end, and hopefully you can pick up some tips and tricks along the way. All right, so I'm in this area right here, and I really like that I like the structure, I like the grunginess and everything. But the problem is we got this light that's coming in and it's um, it's not even. You know, we got these branches and whatnot. So we need to use, we need to have the sun as the backlight or we're gonna need to bounce some light. So that's what we'll do. Here, here. Actually put your back all the way against the, the fence right there, all right? Um, so a little bit of stuff about posing. It's fine to tell the client, hey, go ahead and um, kind of just sit how you would normally sit just to see how that feels. Um, I don't want to get them in too awkward of a, a position that they don't feel comfortable because their smile is not going to be very natural and that's not something they're going to be selecting. So, all right, cool. So, yep, I'm going to have him face this way. We get a little bit of light on one side of his face, but that's that's no big deal. So really for seniors, what I'm going to use mostly is a 70 to 200. This one's Sigma, or I'm going to use a 50 millimeter that goes down to 1.8. Happy with that. And it's not a bad idea if you want to get some shallow depth shots. Um, it always looks flattering to have someone actually looking up more at the camera. So even with the same lens, if I kind of stand above them, um, you don't want to be too intimidated. Don't get too close. We do have a zoom lens. But go ahead and uh, look up straight into the camera. There you go. Looks really good. That's something you should also want to say. You want to tell them, hey, that looks great. You never want to be like, oh, like, be unsure of yourself. Like, just kind of fake it, to be honest. Like, if, if it doesn't look quite right, don't say that and be like, all right, let's do that one more time. Let's, let's try this. You don't want to say, oh, I screwed that one up or something like that. Don't do that, all right? All right, so all the photographers in the area kind of know about this alley. It's got this nice textured background right here and this nice uh, brick paver. Um, and it used to be white but now it's green, but it's still a lighter color, so it's gonna be able to bounce some light back. And so it just works really well, and nobody really walks through here, you know, so it's, it's, a, it's a perfect place to set up. And so, and it's always shaded, it seems like, because the buildings are pretty tall on each side. So I got this whole alley to use, but what I wanna do is I wanna really maximize the, the depth that I have. So instead of putting them right in the middle, I'm gonna bring them towards this side of the alley. That way I can get as much bokeh as possible out to that street, because we don't actually wanna notice, you know, individual cars or anything like that, so. And lean up against, lean up against the building. That's perfect. You know, he got in this pose naturally by himself, so I'm going to run with it uh, because that's him. All right. That looks great right there. Yeah. One thing to keep in mind is too is when you're framing your shot, you got to think of what they're going to be printing. Sometimes this aspect ratio isn't the same as a four by six or an eight by ten or things like that. So it's not a bad idea to leave a little bit around all the sides too. How about uh, just have a little better posture, you know what I mean? You, know, you never want to ask somebody to like, puff up their chest or things like that, but you know, it's fine to say have a little bit better posture. It just looks, looks more, have the energy, a little more youthful. It just looks, it just looks better. So you gotta, you want to have good posture. And a lot of times it makes them smile as well. So that's, uh, that's really good. So, you know, now that I'm, I'm really focusing just on his face and stuff like that, so the 50 millimeter is okay for that isolating, but it's actually not, uh, it's actually a little bit low for, for the focal length, so I'm gonna use the 7200 to get a much more flattering shot uh, of his face. So I'm gonna switch out of my 50 right now. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this. Got some nice bokeh down the line. So now I'm gonna ask for a like, few different expressions because I don't really know exactly what they want it to look like, so um, I'm gonna do that now. So this is kind of his blank stare. All right, go ahead and smile. Don't smile like that though. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. There you go. It's okay to just ask them to kind of kind of laugh a little bit and you know. How about you sit down now? Let's try that out. Um, yep, keep your hands like that. You always want to make sure their hands are a little bit loose as well, like if they're real tight, if they're kind of like flat against it, it just doesn't look very comfortable. It doesn't look very natural. So yep, just keep your hands nice and loose, just kind of cupped or whatever. That's good right there. Okay, it's also good to avoid 
maybe shooting too low. If I'm shooting really low, people bring their chins down, they get the little double chin. Um, I'm also accentuating their body instead of like their, their facial features, like their eyes. So you always wanna stay above them for the most part, unless you're trying to get like an epic shot, you know, like they're on the football field or something like that, and that stuff's great. You wanna show the sky, it looks great. But uh, if you're just trying to make them look good, stay at eye level or stay above them. Actually, yep, I'm gonna have you squat, okay? And we're gonna try to make that look a little more natural. How about, uh, instead of, I, I never look, look looking straight into the lap or anything like that, so maybe tilt your legs one way or the other. All right, there you go. You're fine, you look right at right me. Yeah, and if the client's not getting really comfortable like this right now, his wind's in his eyes, Let's, let's try something else because, you know, you can't have them squinting or anything like that. All right, one thing to keep in mind is, you know, they'll have different outfits that they want to wear. Always consider the background. If it's a, if it's a busier background, like a, like a brick building or a colorful stone or things like that, you might go with the solid colors. If it's going to be, you know, a lighter background, make sure they're working darker clothes. If it's darker background, make sure they're wearing lighter clothes because you really want them to stand out from the background. Also, you know, consider the color. You know, I, was, I wanted to take them to a spot where it's like a blue background, but with green, it might kind of clash, so I might avoid that instead. I don't, I don't mind this pillow right here. Let's go ahead and sit right here on this edge here. This is a situation where the background is quite a bit brighter than he is, and so there's a few things I could do. I could put a flash on my camera and get a little bit of fill flash, but honestly it looks really flat. I could use a, you know, a bounce like this, um, which, which will add a little bit of color, to, or a little bit of brightness to the face. You can kind of see the difference here. So that I could do that. Um, or the other thing I could do is, you know, just, just blow out the background. Against this. this is one of those times where the sun actually ducks behind the clouds a little bit so right now is his, 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 the lighting on his face is really natural really soft so we're gonna use that time and I got this pattern of buildings back here and so it gives a nice uh, it's nice color but it's also some sort of a pattern so it, it's of course it's gonna be blurred out but it's it's gonna look nice so we're gonna we're gonna use it right now go ahead and you're gonna stay in the middle cross your arms This is something I do with clients quite often. Sometimes if I, I don't know how to describe the pose, I'll just do it for them and ask them to do the same. So that's why you come up here, you know, bring hand into the shot is, is sometimes interesting. Why don't you kind of bring it in like this and just kind of look at it this way, okay? You gotta move stuff, get the shot. I don't want this yellow stuff in the background. Okay. Running into you here. How do you want me to? No, I mean just the. Oh. The, the wind's blowing around a little bit. I was thinking that's kind of not. <laughs> Try out. All right, so that's about it. Only took us an hour, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna um, take all those photos, bring them into Lightroom, select them, edit some. I usually give a client between 30 and 70 photos, depending on how long I met with them, and then upload to my website so they can take a look at them and order the ones they want, either a flash drive or maybe they just want some prints, and that's that's great too. I hope you guys enjoyed this. So if, if you like what you've seen, go ahead and subscribe, and we'll try to pump out more of this content for you guys.